if you look at the surveys, and I'm specifically uh, referring to Okta Research, no, who did um, a survey with regards to Filipinos following health protocols. Actually, more than 70% follow health protocols. But of course, hindi yan lalabas sa balita. Ang lalabas ay yung mga hindi sumusunod, which is a minority. So, dito sa Quezon City, nagkaroon tayo ng ganong image, pero actually, isolated lang. May isa lang tayong case na nag-swimming party. Pero yung um, dalawa o tatlo na iba uh, na binanggit ng media na breaching of health protocols, actually, they were community pantries. And they were people giving food. No? And so, I do not want to stop people from giving food because we need to give food to our people. This is a time of great need. No? But the problem there is to organize and coordinate and to work together para maiwasan yung breach of minimum health uh, protocols. At nagawa naman natin yan sa pagbibigay ng ayuda. Nagawa naman natin yan when we were distributing yung, yung pera na galing sa DSWD. At, um, at iba pa, ngayon sa vaccination, nakikita naman natin na maayos ang vaccination kahit na lumalabas ang mga tao at kailangan pumila. No? So, it actually can be done, but we also need the help of our media partners to highlight also the good things about being a Filipino. The bayanihan spirit. The ability to follow instructions. no Hindi lang naman laging kung pinupuna yung mga pagkakamali. Because sa bawat ban sa may mga nagkakamali din. Hindi naman lahat ng bansa perpekto ang mga mamamayan.